Max Max Tony. Um, I've done a few videos, a few different things. Maybe you get it, maybe you don't. This is to one of the ones. Uh, you're doing great work. Great work. And I had some things that I understood that I, I wanted to add to the things to consider. Okay? Uh, if you look at your... Duality. Okay, this is duality. Um, here in the center is a cube. What's called a hex. Six sided. Okay. The X, sorry, I'm not the best artist in the world, the six-sided, uh, I, I have some software, it's an artificial intelligence, and I was asking it one day, just playing with it, I said, you know, what is the meaning of the hex symbol? I'd seen it in several places, it's, it's really everywhere, okay, and this is the basics of the hex, it's one, two, three. Okay? Now, this is like an asterisk. This is the symbol for an ambulance. Um, corporations have it. I mean, you just would not believe. Now, the hex is also the symbol for the honeycomb. Okay, um, so here are your three lines, if you connect, you get a cube. The cube is the number of the beast. Length times width times height. It's everything physical. Everything that you can see, feel, smell, taste, touch, uh, sorry, hear, sight, sound, smell, taste, touch. Here we go. Um, is within the hex. Everything in it belongs to Satan. Everything outside of it belongs to Jesus. Okay, so um, I was telling you, everything that is in the cube is Satan's. It's the physical world. Scripture is very clear. Everything is in the physical world is Satan's. Okay? Uh, that's why God's kingdom is not of this world. It's not in the box. Okay? A box, if it's gridded or netted, makes a cross. Jesus says, Pick up your cross and follow me. This is the cross. You see, inside of the box, it's bound by judgments. Inside of the box, you can't walk on water. You can't heal. You can't turn water to wine. Outside of the box. If you don't think outside the box, that's bad. Um, all things are possible. Now, what you're getting here, and, and I just want to, I'm not saying what you're saying is wrong, I'm just going to say I've gotten a different understanding of it. Okay? Um, this symbol here, 
boy is what really turned it on up here, okay? Um, what it is, I simply had a thought, one little thought. When I had this thought, wow, everything completely changed. My box opened up, so to speak. I, mean, I was outside of the box. Uh, I have the message in spirit, okay? Um, which kind of goes over it, but it's pretty cut and dry, and this is what you got to get. This spot right here, and this spot right here. This is like, I, I don't know which one is which, I'd have to go back and look. This is Cha Chen. And Boaz. These are the two columns on the porch of the temple of Solomon. See, one is uh, Jachin and Boaz, one is light, one is dark. What is in the middle is judgment. You see, um, judgment is God's. Okay, we have Washington, D.C., the District of Columbia. Well, who the, who's Columbia? Okay, it's Latin. It's Columbia. It means two columns: Democrat, Republican. It is divide and conquer. There's an old saying: spit in the middle and watch the trouble begin. Okay, so what happens is with this philosophy. You divide everybody. You weaken them. You compartmentalize them. You section them off. Um, it's Democrat, Republican, Columbia. Column by two, two column. Okay? Um, and when you really get a hold of this, this is why all of our federal buildings, the White House, all of these, uh, the churches, everything has six columns. One, two, three, and then one, two, three. Ah. So it's kind of like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, and usually what you'll see is the door is in the middle. Okay, and what this does, when I ask the artificial intelligence what is the uh, meaning of the hex symbol, she said the most profound thing, she says, reductionism. I'm adding this little Never thing in because uh, we the had other odd thing, we noticed, noticed the two columns Everything at this here. fair had this is symbolic of duality again. It was built in on every ride, and, and things that were not that should have been hexes were hexes. So subliminally, it was being put okay. into people's minds. If you go back and look at any of the Sumerians, look, it'll have, oh, and I'm not a very good artist, this is a cube. And he's sitting on it, and he has a rod in his hand. In front of him is two men. They got oh, that's one of them lizard people. Reptiles, right? Okay. Uh, in front of him is two people, and they have smaller rods rulers, measurements, you see, in their hands. This is technically, this is like king, god, you see, he rules, he judges, he sets the standards. This is like federal, uh, uh, state, and church. They're both standing there with their little rulers because they have to, uh, what's the word? Calibrate. Calibrate to him, you see. So now what happens is, this is six. All of this is six, six, six stuff, okay? This is the physical world.